Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Ultra scan diagnostics. Hey, this is the CBCT of the patient that you had requested. The area of interest is the lower left and right edentulous spaces. On the panoramic view, we can very clearly see that there are um, no molars on the lower right hand quadrant and no first and second molar on the lower left hand quadrant. Um, for the ease of our doctor, we have placed implants of a generic brand. Uh, brands can be changed, we'll tell you the bone quality. If you look at it from an axial point of view, we've got very good bone quality. Um, we've got D2 levels of bone um, and no pathologies can be seen. The lower left uh, first molar region has grafted bone or has a extraction socket which can be seen on the transaxial view right here. But otherwise, all the rest of them seem absolutely normal. Moving to the um, implant placement, so we'll take you through each and every segment and then we'll place the implants for you. So this is the lower right first molar region. To give you an idea, this is the bone quality. We've got 12 millimeters of bone width with approximately 13 millimeters of bone height in the first molar region. And if we move to the second molar region, this is the bone the Mandible is not straight, but we've got approximately 12 millimeters of bone width with a very good 12 millimeters of bone height. Moving to the lower left quadrant, which is basically the first molar region. Here we also have very good uh, bone quality in terms of um, the, the cortical plate, but we do have um, can, we do have new bone or grafted bone in the socket region. We've got 12 millimeters of bone width with approximately 11 millimeters of bone height in the first molar region and in the second molar region. Um, the height will shorten but the quality of the ridge will remain the same 11 millimeters of width with approximately 12 millimeters of height. Now at the implants we will show you, sorry one second, the implants that we've placed are right here. There we go. So we've placed basically four implants, two on the lower right, two on the left. Um, these are all uh, 4.6 millimeters. So you have four to five millimeters of ridge width with the implant diameter can be. And approximately most implants are 10.5 or on the lower right quadrant, you will need to place a um, nine millimeter implant. Um, so we will have, we've also shared a implant planning report for the doctor so that they can see. Thank you very much.